Hey guys, Club Carry here, and today I'm going to be updating you on this 50 Queen Fidole colony. Looking into one of their three uh, test tubes in this setup, they have uh, quite a sizable amount of brood. They seem to be covering most of it up. Also, the first nanetic workers arrived, um, I think about a week ago, so I'll have to start feeding this colony now. The second test tube here doesn't seem to have a... Well, it doesn't seem to have anything in it. Just one lone queen. But this third test tube here seems to have a majority of the queens. I don't know if there's any uh, brood in this one. Because there's, uh, there's so many queens, I don't think I could see it. So, because the first few nanitic workers have arrived, um... I've placed in a small termite as well as a little bit of honey. This is, I think people call it creamed honey, but it's just when it, uh, the honey crystallizes and uh, something that will happen eventually to old honey. So I've got a, a little tub of this stuff. That So for, like, for small species like these Fidole, uh, they won't drown in the honey, which is why I feed with this stuff. And as an added bonus for you guys, because this video will be uh, fairly short if I just included that Fidole colony, I'll show you guys this uh, Mimesia arnoldi. As you can see there under the uh, cotton, she's probably got about five larvae. Hopefully she doesn't eat this batch. They're uh, fairly mature now, so hopefully they'll pupate and turn into some nice little nanitic workers. So I'll have to be feeding this girl plenty of protein as the uh, larvae of old Mimesia species um, are carnivorous so they just need protein and won't eat anything else. There's a better shot of the larvae. There's a few under there. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll keep you updated on these colonies, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.